When they saw the light, they were rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Matthew 2.10 Christmas is the celebration of the birth of our Messiah, Jesus Christ. This holy occasion brings eternal light and everlasting joy in our lives. On Christmas Eve, family and friends come together to pray, feast and share the gifts with one another. Good morning, reverend sisters, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today, we have come together to celebrate the divine festival of Christmas. of joy, belongings of hope and new beginnings. To most of the people, it is the season of togetherness with their family. The green Christmas tree represents the eternal life that we receive through salvation. Its shape represents the Trinity symbol of Christ and new life. As you enjoy the Christmas celebrations this year, remember what the decorations and tree color represents. Above all, remember the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true meaning of Christmas. We all put up Christmas decorations and decorate the tree during the holiday season. But have you ever stopped to wonder about the symbolism and deeper meaning behind it all? Here is what different Christmas tree decorations symbolize. The lights we put upon our Christmas tree symbolizes the twinkling of the night sky. It also represents the light which Jesus brought into the world. Legends say 
a widowed father to three girls was having a tough time providing for his daughters. After seeing Nicholas heard about his situation, he decided to climb down the family's chimney and fill the girls' stockings with the gold coins. In the same way, we should also be kind and caring to the needs of others. I'm a little stocking hanging on a tree. See the little children dance around me. Tra la la, tra la la, tra la la, la la la, tra la la, tra la la. La, la, la. Star. The star symbolizes Jesus Christ, the brightest morning star. Star represents great multitude, heavenly favor, which demand hope. The star stands for high hope ideas, a hope for a good fortune, and to change about oneself which guides and shows us the brightness of the star in the symbol of enlightenment and the trump of good or evil. I am a little star hanging on a tree. See the little children dance around me. His creation, his son, and himself. 
A ribbon is tied around a gift to represent how people should all be tied together in the bonds of unity and goodwill. goodwill. Thank you. I have a little gift hanging on a tree. See the little children dance around me. La la la, la la la, la la la. Today I am talking about candy cake. Jesus was called a good shepherd. The shape of a candy represents a shepherd's star, which is used to guide by the shepherd to guide his flock or sheep. If you flip it upside down, it looks like a letter J, which stands for Jesus. The red color represents the Jesus blood that shed for our sins. The white color symbolizes pure and sinless nature of Jesus. The I'm a little candy game hanging on a tree. See the little children dance around me. Tra la la, tra la la, tra la la la. I'm a little star hanging on a tree. See the little children dance around me. I'm a little bell hanging on a tree. See the Spreading joy into the world is nothing better than giving someone back their life. The more you give, the more you receive. By this, we are here to present to you a small enactment based on Christmas, a season of giving. Scene 1 Jesslyn and Grandma are doing Christmas shopping in a mall, while Jesslyn, in a trice, saw a winsome cake. Jesslyn, why don't you take home something special for your grandpa? Jesslyn smiled and ran to the cake. Holding it, she happily went close to her grandma, who was waiting for her at the cash register. 
Unfortunately, the cake she chose was out of their budget and they had to return it. I want that cake, please. I won't ask anything else. Next time, okay? When we can afford it. Last time too, you said this. Scene 2. Jesslyn came out of the store, upset and unsatisfied. Do they not want that? No, sir. Can I take it then? Sure, sir. The young man happily came out of the store and stopped Jesslyn from behind. Hey, hey. Hello. This is for you. No, sorry. We cannot accept it. Would you please? There's no reason for you to buy this cake for us. The young man pauses for a moment and then begin. Well, when I was seven, my mother wanted to buy me a cake. Scene 3. Flashback. A mother and a child are in the patisserie of a supermarket. The child is leaning on the cake display. But mommy, I want this one. The mother leaves her child's side and goes to count her money, making a sad expression. A man dressed in a white shirt enters the scene. The mother brings the child to her and kneels down to talk to him. Can we buy something else? But it's my birthday today. Can I choose my own cake, please? The man in the white shirt overhears the commotion behind him. I'm sorry. The man in the white starts to count his own money and tells the employee on the counter to stop packing his cake. Then, there's this man. I've never met him before in my life. The man in white approaches the mother and child, kneels down to the child, tapping his shoulder. The crying child looks at the man. Yeah, have this cake. Happy birthday. Child takes the cake and the man lovingly pats his head. The man then starts leaving. I didn't know his name. I never got a chance to say thank you. The man starts leaving. The child looks at him happily. The man turns back to look at the child and man leaves. Scene 4. Back to reality. I've never forgotten about him. The man in the queue. The young man then gives the cake to the grandma. Thank you. No, thank you. The grandma takes a piece of paper out of her pocket and gives it to the man. Can I have your contact number? The man takes the paper and writes something on it. Then he smiles and bows down to the little girl. Promise me something. Someday, whenever you're able to help someone, you will do it. The little girl takes the paper. May I know your name, mister? Well, I'm the man in the queue. The young man then walks away from them. He glances at them one last time. Then he leaves. The little girl is in focus, smiling at him. She then nods. Scene 5. Now, the grandma and the little girl are entering their house. The little girl is holding the cake, approaching her grandpa. The grandpa is a very old man on a wheelchair. I chose this cake for your birthday. Wow, this is my favorite. Thank you. Grandpa handing her the cake. Careful. I'll exit the scene holding the cake. The grandma enters the scene, the grandpa chuckling. You shouldn't have spent the money. Actually, a kind man paid for it. The little girl enters the scene again. She hands her grandfather the note the young man gave her. He gave me this note. Scene 6. Flashback. Just gave me your address. I can bring the money back to you later. The man takes the paper and writes something down on it. He hands it to the child. The child opens the paper. A simple act of kindness can create an endless ripple. The man turns around and turns out to be the little girl's grandfather. He smiles one last time. 
The child opened the paper further. A simple act of kindness creates an endless ripple that comes back to you as in day. A single act of kindness creates an endless ripple. He smiles. The rest of the family re-enter the scene. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. The grandfather cuts the cake. The end. You saw a simple act of kindness can create an endless ripple. Kindness and human relations are the two things that are attached and cannot be separated in this festival of Christmas. Having a heart for someone and caring for someone or helping someone in any way can do wonders in people's life. Sharing with others what you have but they don't is the most precious thing in the world that costs you nothing but gives you a lot of happiness and sometimes bundles of prayers. Christmas waves a magic wand over this world and makes everything softer and more beautiful. Mary, did you know 
that you'll be before is all of all creation Mary did you know that you'll be
better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list and shaking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees when you are sleeping. He knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Go
in the candles that softly spread their glow at Christmas. And may you experience the wonder of the abiding love as he guides you through each day of the coming year. Faith makes all things possible. Hope makes all things work. Love makes all things beautiful. May you have all of three for this Christmas. Merry Christmas. During this time of faith and family, may the true meaning of Christmas fill you with joy. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. a warm heart? Mark the season of Advent by loving and serving the others by God's own love and concern. 
With these beautiful words of Saint Mother Teresa, I would like to conclude the assembly by wishing you all a Merry Christmas on behalf of all of us.